I have three sisters, Crystal, Kiara, and Melissa. I'm the youngest and only boy. Growing up, we lived in a haunted house. In fact, the neighborhood was haunted. All the neighbors had experiences. Apparently, it was all built over a military gravesite, but I'm not sure how true that is. This was years ago. I was about five, I think, and my sisters were around their early teens. Our cousin, Vincent, who we call Vincy, was staying over. He's the same age as my sisters. We used to play hide and seek with all the lights in the house turned off, apart from any room our parents were in. So this night was going great. The only source of light was a flashlight that the seeker had. Crystal was usually found quickly because she had, and still has, really long curly red hair, and it almost glowed bright orange in the light. Kiara has long straight blonde hair, so she was found quickly too. But Melissa and I have black hair, so we could blend in better. However, this night, Kiara was the seeker. She found us fairly quickly and only had Vincy to find. So she went to our parents' room and shined the light inside. Our parents had two white wardrobes that were attached on either side of a white dressing table with a mirror on top of it. Kiara could see one of the wardrobe doors was slightly opened and inside of it, in the darkness, she could see eyes staring out at her. She laughed and shouted, Found you, Vincy! But the eyes didn't move. They just stared at her. I see you, Vincy! She laughed again. Suddenly, on the opposite side of the room, the curtains of the window flew open, and Vincy jumped from the window ledge laughing. Kiara looked at him in confusion. But I thought... Suddenly, the confusion turned to fear when she looked back at the wardrobe. The eyes were still there, wide and staring at Vincy, but then slowly looked back in her direction. Kiara screamed and quickly turned on the room light, and they could both now see that the wardrobe was empty. Nobody hiding, no pets, no boxes, nothing. Hide and seek in the dark soon became a memory after that. <laughs>